Silly Little Beaver Children's Books Read Aloud! Helpful Thomas, Thomas and Friends. Thomas's whistle is broken. He must have it fixed. Thomas is worried. He's never been to a mechanic before. Uh-oh. Thomas chugs toward the repair shed. Around the bend, Percy has run off his track. Thomas pulls Percy back into position. Well, that was nice. Ahead sits Bertie. He's overheating. Thomas offers some water to Bertie so he can refill his radiator. Oh, Thomas sure is nice. Thomas whistles as he passes the quarry. The troublesome trucks chuckle at the sound. Thomas almost forgot his whistle needs fixing. He feels worried again. Oh, look, there's Mavis too. Harold hovers above. There's a broken bridge ahead, he calls. Thomas hurries to get supplies and workers. At the bridge, Harold lowers wood toward a worker who doesn't see it coming. Uh-oh! Thomas's whistle is too weak to warn them. Luckily, the worker looks up in time. He might have been hurt because I put off my fixing my whistle, thinks Thomas. Thomas heads straight to the repair shed. Will it hurt? He asks. It didn't hurt, the mechanic replies. Your whistle is fixed already, and you didn't feel a thing. I shouldn't have been afraid, Thomas tells Percy. The mechanic was only going to help, just like you helped me and all of our friends, replies Percy. Helping others is important, Sir Topham Hatt agrees and it doesn't hurt a bit. The end. Thank you so much for going on that adventure with me. Please be sure to comment with your thoughts and subscribe to the channel. Enjoy the rest of your day. <laughs> I'm gonna find something to eat now. Bye-bye. <laughs>